Welcome to CSEC Biology, the cover page. I am Mr. Wilson, and today we are looking at planning and design. That's a SBA skill for the CSEC Biology labs. Now, I'm going to be taking you through planning and design, the outline, so that you will be able to score 10 out of 10 for this particular lab. There are two labs that you should be doing for planning and design, after which you're going to be doing the implementation. So I'm just going to take it through a simple walkthrough. Now, the first question one might ask is, what is planning and design? Simply put, it is a laboratory skill that is used to solve a problem. And your problem is usually that how, what, which, where, why, when, that type of a thing. You want to find out something. It is pretty much driven by a observation so you would have had an observation or probably there is a problem that you would have seen and you want to have it solved and the best way to get that done is to write for yourself a planning and design lab and solve the problem now how does it work well the skill is driven by a problem like I said uh, to be solved or uh, observation to be tested and the problem here to be solved it is not something that is necessarily bad. Let's look at an observation. Now, Ben got some green mangoes at the market. Upon reaching home, he wrapped them in paper and took them away. He explained that the practice caused them to ripe quickly or quicker. Now, this is an observation. And this observation creates for the scientists a problem. Because we are not allowed just to take what Ben said as the answer. We must find a way to test, to determine whether or not what Ben said is true. Does it really have any impact on how quickly these mangoes will ripe? Now, Ben action is obviously convinced Ben. That wrapping of the mangoes in paper will shorten the length of time the mangoes take to ripe. Now, like I said, as scientists, we cannot rely on Ben's opinion. We must perform tests to find out if his action shorten the time the mangoes take to ripe. Now, the problem. The problem should not be understood as something bad, but instead a situation or concern to be resolved. With planning and design, the situation could be bad, good, or in between. It is just an observation or a concern that we need to have scientific facts to arrive at the answer. Now, the format of planning and design lab is as follows. First, in your book, you're going to be writing what topic is the lab around, the skill. And the skill here is going to be PD or planning and design. Then you're going to write your observation or that problem statement. Sometimes it's given by the teacher. Sometimes it's one that you come up with. Then the hypothesis, which pretty much is that intelligent guess. And that will be outlined. The aim, what is it that you intend to find out as a result of that hypothesis? Apparatus and material, what is it that you're going to be using to carry out the lab? Beakers, etc. Procedure. Now, the procedure here is written in future tense. What is it that you are going to do in execution? Then you're going to be having the control variable. Now, this is something that is set up. That is usually the untouch the natural condition and this is used to validate whether or not that which you are going to change about the situation is true expected result what is it that you expect to see at the end of the lab and usually you want to say if it is good or if it is bad then this is going to be the result if it is true or if it's not true the result is going to be that then the use of the result know that we found this out what can we use this information to do and then we're going to be having the precautions. These are things uh, that you're going to follow, rules that you're going to follow to ensure that your outcome is pretty much plausible, giving accurate result. Then you have assumption. What do you think will happen 
uh, having carried out this lab? What is it that you're expecting to happen? It's some, some pretty much like expected result. And then limitation. What are those uncontrolled factors, factors that you can't control that could cause your, your answer not to be correct? Right, so this could limitation could lead to what we refer to as source of errors. Now, I'm going to be going through a lab, a planning and design lab, to show you exactly how these things are written and what is looked for. So, I do encourage you to look out for my planning and design lab report, my planning and design lab report that will be on my channel right after the publication of this lab format. So please take note of the format and of course you can start writing your labs. Please be reminded to like, share and subscribe and when you subscribe remember to hit that notification bell and select all. Also be reminded of our three weekly live classes on Wednesday, Friday and Sunday at 5.05 p.m. and we are streaming from Kingston, Jamaica. Thanks for watching.